The approval of the meeting minutes of September 14th. There's a motion. Move. Second. All favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then if you guys want to walk us through yeah. the changes in the proposal and the cost estimates. Okay. I, th I think I'll start by showing the moves that you guys asked for last week, um, trying to put a baseball field on here at uh, so the, the first site behind Town Hall. Yeah, the first, yeah, the first three, three sheets, sheets are intergenerational. Are intergenerational. So if you skip to the fourth sheet. Yeah. So as I thought, the softball fields fit really well on the Howard site, as we were discussing. Um, and it does, like without overlap, uh, so a, a softball field fits up in, up in on the north end. And these are 180 foot softball fields and then one fits down in the south end um, and the orientation is mainly to keep the infrastructure closer to the school and the road for access easier access and have, instead of having to walk around um, but then it leaves you a, f a full size field um, well the same size fields you have there now I, I think they're 180 by 330 uh, soccer fields um, but then also somewhat provides a half field practice field mm -hmm. Um, so you can see the overlay um, and how how well it fits. So if the softball fields get relocated there um, for the need of a JV baseball field at the site here behind Town Hall. Now, what's this park again called? I know you, the, the we, site right here. I, I was looking it up online. Called Jerry and I could, Arms. Jerry there. what? One of our right. selectmen yeah. knows the name. I'm oh, okay. Okay. Well, I have no idea that, what the name is. Matter, but I was calling I've been on the board for ten years. I've been okay. I just been calling it the town hall site. Yeah, we just yeah. call the ball fields. The ball fields at, yeah. at town hall. But the baseball field fits in well there. The only thing we might have to do is uh, cut off left field a little bit, um, and that's still a. Th um, it's still three hundred down the the foul line. However, it just ends up being straight across, and that's to leave about a twenty foot access to get to the other field mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's in the back. Because mm -hmm. if we built this out, it pinches right in there, and then you, you there's really no good access to that field in the back. It'd be like landlocked. Uh, but the rest of the field is JV. The, the center is 350. It's going to get a little tight up against the other dugout. So the center field, depending on final layout, might need to tuck back in a little bit. But the right field is 300. But left field, you could do probably do a higher fence. It'd be like a mini green monster there. You guys could uh, do a play off of Fenway, maybe. Um, and I did take a look at like using the existing dugouts and the existing backstop line. Um, maybe feasible, maybe not. But if we do that, the foul line goes right through the concession building. Mm. So it's like six or a half dozen another, you know, build the new infrastructure for the baseball field, uh, backstop and so forth, and leave the concession building, or tuck the ball field back, and then look at either having to relocate the concession building or, you know, you know get into all that, that can of worms. Yeah. So that's a, that's a choice that could be made, you know, during the, the design process, should, should you elect this, this option. So the net gain is one JV field, and the cost is 1.6 to 1.8 with the relocation in. Well, the, the two fields on yeah, Howard and, and the baseball that. field, yeah. So that's a lot of money. For it's this. a lot of money so to gain, gain one, one JV field. Yeah, one yeah. JV field. That is a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. And you lose the fields. You lose one. Well, we, we don't. But you gain we lose one, one but we, we could use the, this, we, I mean, obviously we're going to this week. Yeah. The two on Howard that he talked about earlier, those could both be used for you know, little league, so to speak. I mean, it would be, we'd lose north and south, but we'd still be able to use the two on Howard as basically a replacement for north and south, and then gain a JV field that we don't have. That's, that was the whole purpose of these, but as mm. Anthony said, it's, it's expensive. It's, 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 it's like really a million expensive. plus effort, and then whatever might need to be done to the fields to, re, mm. to reconstruct the field. Right. Well, and then we yeah. also, we would have to redo Sullivan to make it a little more Better, I guess it would be that that that, that field needs some more. Oh, in the back, yeah, the field. better softball field. Yeah, yeah. Probably want to do that at some point, but that's yeah, separate. Make it under the walkways. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have no one to run the snack shack anymore, so we could just tear that down too. Yeah. That could be uh, storage. Uh, so, 
Um, I guess with with that, um, did you want to go over costs next, uh, David? Uh, so with the costs at the Lincoln Street site, um, they were they asked us to prepare a plan that <coughs> showed pickleball and basketball where the uh, building structure, where the um, recreation center um, was proposed. The rest of this, so in this first sheet, uh, option one revised, uh, the rest of the facility is the same. It's just taking out the building and showing pickleball and basketball mm -hmm. courts. Um, so if that's we do that, do we need any parking? Yes, that's yeah. actually a larger parking lot if you look at the third sheet. Okay. It's, it's maybe 25 to 30 percent bigger. Yeah. And so yeah. is there a, is there on this sheet a total cost for this proposal? We, we didn't get to like these okay. different options. We didn't okay. get, so we just have get to, to a total <coughs> yet. Um, but in this but option, it leaves the footprint for a building in the future, should we? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. But the so building, I mean, basically we were at, um, you know, I think with, we value engineered the building down and some of the other things. And so we're at 17, 8 for the full build, which is, you know, on sheet three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that's, and then if you take the building out, that's about seven, seven. you know, seven and change. So right, you're, so you're, like so you're at 10, 10 million. And then if you add in four pickleball courts, we, uh, that's what we ended up preparing this menu item. So you can kind of mix and match. You add in four pickleball courts at around 110 to $135,000. Mm -hmm. Uh, to that, and then a basketball court. So, say another close to two hundred thousand. So it's at one point two million with with those courts there. Um, so those instead are of one point seven with the building. So, are you saying on pickleball courts it's one hundred ten thousand dollars each court? No, no, no. That's for four right, courts. Right. So we did two different scenarios: four courts, because we're showing four courts in some places, and we're showing six in others. Yeah. So four courts is 110 to 135,000, yep. um, depending on the treatments. 100 and then six courts is 180 to 200,000. And then Jeff, to your point, because you had said if we do this, we still have the footprint from the building, but if we increase parking, right. we're not going to have the footprint for the building. I, I guess my yeah. point is, I'm looking at option one, right? Yeah. Where if we increase parking, I mean, it, not that it's just asphalt, but it's just asphalt. Right. To, you to could, you'd have back. to readjust the parking lot, which is not. And then rip up the courts. And but rip then up the courts. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. versus option two, where now your turf is taking that space. And that that to me is a much different equation. You're locked in. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. will be no building if we choose option two. Yeah. Yeah. If you choose option two, you would have zero parking and no building, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, if we went back and put the building in, yeah, yeah it would yeah. take You'd out. You'd have like maybe 20 spots or less. You'd have. Right. And option two is really about the baseball field. Adding the baseball the, field. The, oh. That's yeah. the yeah. JV field, which I think we said last week wasn't really as feasible because of the bus situation and walking. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I would lean towards one then. And this is not the JV. This is this is a because no, it's, it's, a, it's a JV. This field. is JV. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We really really pinching it in there. You get 300 feet to right field, and then you get you get more than the <coughs> um, you know more than the required required amount to uh, left field. So is varsity baseball more than 300 feet? Um, no, you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, the minimum is 300. Okay. All right. You tend to design them at like 330, though, for varsity. Okay. But in theory, you could do this for varsity, JV, and for softball. You, you could. Okay. Yeah. And this, this option one, revised page one, I'm assuming that this drawing, the site concept perspective, is basically that. That, it that is. is, yeah. That's it is that without, the, yeah, without. The that's last week. With the building. Yeah. yeah. With, with the building. Yeah. 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 Right. Say last week. No, it was last week's building. It's not basically last week's. 
<laughs> that too. And uh, you know, another option is to to build the site like as it's shown in the colored concept plan, and have the pad for the building for future. Um, it it makes more sense to future the building than the the easterly field because you, it's hard to come back in and build the easterly field if the building's there. So the building is kind of a natural phase two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, I think Greg, you and I spoke over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Whether it's two years, three years, five years, whatever, we're going to ultimately build a new school. And we have an excellent um, basketball facility at our high school. I think there's six courts in there because it goes two this way and two. Is it mm -hmm. six all? Two. Four? Two. No, we've got to have basketball going across. They go across right. and then it's the exact same layout as what they did. Okay, all right, okay. So it's two across and one full okay. length court. So if we do that in, a, in the new school, and then we have an agreement in advance that everybody can use it and all those things to support the school, um, we get what we're going to be getting here and through MSBA, they're going to pay 50% of that cost. So now we, we still gain what we're looking for. We're going to have to build a school anyway. Um, and we add those basketball facilities. So we gain what we're looking here, have the state pay for half. So I don't know. I think it's something we, um, I was saying to Gray, I just thought it might make sense to go that route. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I, I guess the only hang up I have is do we think we're going to get the okay on a site plan to build a full-size high school gymnasium for an elementary school? Because the footprint of the elementary school gym now is a fraction of what the high school gym is. Correct. So, and part of it for me is just knowing where the, the new school, if we vote on it, approved and build it, where it actually is going to be. Mm -hmm. Because that affects all of us to an extent. You know, Jen and I were talking about the fact, I think, last week on the side where, you know, if Spring Street gets moved somewhere else, well, that opens up space to build the JV fields right next to the varsity field, which obviously will make life much easier for her and her, you know, her teams. But I don't really know where it's going to land. So that those are the two kind of unknowns for me is whether or not we could build a elementary school with a full size court because we would. I mean, that'd be great if we could do that. But Bill, do you know is there any that must be that any, is there any discussion with the school committee of taking consolidating Spring Street? Rose McDonald and Howard all on the Howard site and having one yeah. lodge new for all of those grades. Mark is going to point them, try to point them in the walkthrough into that direction um, because it's really, it's just right now, it's been a discussion of Roselle and uh, uh, Spring Street. But where we have the room, you know, can we house everything there? That way we would lose Spring Street, we could use for fields, obviously. And I think with the more students in the building, obviously the build, the bigger the building gets, and then the bigger the gym gets, the bigger the auditorium gets. So right. I think um, you know that's you know that's Mark's plan. I think Mark would like to see it go K through six. Because right. uh, I'll, I'll be in that meeting next week with them as well. Okay. Um, but if the, if there's if there's energy towards that, I think also administratively now you're only focused on two buildings. Correct. Mm -hmm. So it makes life easier for everybody. And because the Howard fields are there, we have the space and the capacity. Yep. And then both between Rose McDonald and Spring Street, those become available spaces mm -hmm. for something. Oh, you, know, you actually maybe sell Rose McDonald. That's I what know. I was thinking. No, too. I, I, sell I, that, I, I yeah. you know. And then you know you take down Spring Street for fields or whatever yep. use and uh, whatnot. So you know, I think Rose McDonald could be a valuable site for somebody. Yeah. yeah, do it. It's a big area over there. It's tucked away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I think my personal opinion is if we were going to all do that and all support it, then just have some agreement so that way YAA knows how they'll be able to use it, the school mm -hmm. knows how they'll be able to use it, mm -hmm. and that way everybody just is all on the same page mm -hmm. prior to, to going out to bid. Um, well, even, I mean, even, even for Jen's teams in the basketball side, I mean, they're practicing at Howard as well, like, as mm -hmm. well as us, and it's, yeah, it's, it's not sufficient. And yeah. If you had a court size similar to what they have in the high school, and you could have teams practicing side by side yeah. as well, yeah. I and mean, yeah. that, that would be ideal mm -hmm. for... Well, safety everyone. reasons, too. Now we're not as spread out, too. Right. You know, exactly. Easier for the police, the yep. police and uh, the resource officer and whatnot. We're all mm -hmm. right here. Yeah. You know, town Hall's even here. You know, everything's right, right here. You're entirely right. Yeah. 
I mean, so I love the look of the building, and I'd like to see it stay. I just so it's going to be a hard sell. It's ten million. <laughs> mm. Yeah, something's oh, yeah. going to yeah, go. Right. Yeah. I don't think go. it's right now, but I don't know that I'm giving up on it forever. Mm. Oh, so what if the building does go? Uh, what would we? What are everybody's thoughts on uh, bathroom facility or bathroom? The uh, pond. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's going to remain. That's going to remain green now because we don't need to clean it up. We can just leave it as this. Yes. <laughs> right there, the the little oh, panels, panels like at a urinal, and everyone can step right in and hold on. I don't know. What do you think? Mean, there's no building. What do you think about restrooms? Well, I mean, I think if you've got storage buildings, you have two storage buildings there that we're showing. I mean, it's it's possible to put a three holer and a two holer. In there as well, yeah. you know. Maybe maybe that's it. You have some convenience restrooms that are part of the storage building, and just go very cost effectively on those. You know, it's it's almost a pole barn type construction. Yeah. Well, what uh, and moving closer to central, dropping it like the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Talked about location. that today, actually. Um, yeah. My uh, one other question too, though, in lieu of the pickleball and basketball court, the other thing I was thinking about too is some sort of snack shack. You know, and. You know, if we like ours over mm -hmm. here, it's, it's small, but it does have a bathroom connected to it right. as well. There, I don't know if we put yeah. these where we originally intended and put in like a small snack shack that doesn't oh. take up the whole footprint. Right. What does the cost difference look like from putting, you know, outdoor basketball court and four pickleball courts versus? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that you you can see that there's even room if the basketball. Yeah, you could almost slide them down. You could slide it or flip it. Right. Put the building near the. Um, you know, maybe what the pickleball and basketball flip the basketball flip and pickleball. Yeah. yeah. And basketball yeah. shifts towards yep. parking, right. and Agreed. we put a, a concession slash restroom. And then and then, mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be easy enough to draw up a small support building that would really just be concessions and restrooms, right? Mm -hmm. And and probably. A, Truss roof. That could be a prefab yeah. building too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about lighting there? <coughs> well, you would do site site lighting. Yeah. Because um, if you're lighting the fields, so you want to light the, um, you know, light the parking lot and the facility there. And you have no real fixed seating. Fixed seating usually creates the numbers of toilets that you'd have to mm -hmm. provide. Mm -hmm. So Which we wouldn't have. Yeah. So could you, you get have, light? So you can could we get light from one one or both of the towers closest to uh, the pickleball court and basketball court? Because aren't yeah. they pretty good? You could well, take yeah. a I couple of support building. We could, could actually, have, actually put yeah. oh, okay. packs on the building. Yeah. Okay, and but and you know like four four floods on it, on the quadrants of the building will light yeah. it up. Yeah, and either either way, you add pedestrian lighting. Even yeah. though you have the sports lighting, could you? Yeah, want to have lighting when you shut off the sports lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking more lighting for the pickleball courts and the basketball court. Yeah, night. you could add lighting to those yeah. too. And do we like the idea of putting those there versus just almost just landscaping, thinking about the future and not having to knock these down, but also usage of the pickleball for, you know, I, I did like the idea of having pickleball near a school so that kids could get there easily mm -hmm. as well versus here where, you know, they'd have yes. to get driven unless yeah. they live in the Wait, neighborhood. Wait, were we eliminating the others? I don't. That's I, that's well, a question. I don't know do if that the was other the one. Oh, okay. The other sites, you know. Well, but even then, I guess I come back to: Do we even want to build anything more there, and just leave it? You could leave landscaped a lawn, or a lawn and, area. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and then that way we're not ripping anything up if eventually we get on the road of building a barn. Yeah, I mean, gym. for me, realistically, you're five or more years from building something. No, I, I get it. And at that point, those courts be might have gotten a lot of yeah. use. So are you thinking about having courts here and at the other location, doing both? In the in the scheme of the whole project, it's short money. No, I, I agree. And how many are we looking at, Howard? Was it six? Maybe, I mean, maybe we don't need six in that case. I don't know if we need we ten. Four, 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 four. It's almost Bridgewater, yeah. yeah. I think four, yeah. four is probably yeah. plenty. At, at that not that it's, like you said, Jeff, it's not big money. but. Mm. Yeah, at that location, if you don't put, uh, you know, the baseball over the bleach field, mm -hmm. would be resolved that it would be very difficult. Um, the if you put them yeah. there, you could put six pickleball. Four over there, oh, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. If you, yeah. So cover page would be just over 10 million, right? Yeah, yeah, it appears, it appears that. Probably uh, 
ten, yeah, ten million, ten two hundred thousand. Plus bathrooms. Yeah, yeah plus the then the bathroom. So, yeah. yeah. So under. under yeah, what? under public procurement, that could be two fifty to three hundred for a pretty simple bathroom concession facility. I mean, if if we do, if you do a prefab building, yeah. You're not worried about you're not worried about prevailing wage at that point. You you do actually. They changed the law just a few years ago that you have to do prefab buildings by Chapter 149 now, and um, so it has to be a DCAM certified contractor. And okay. the markup is incredible. We've, we've the done some that are, are yeah a problematic. It's it's. Actually, what we found is it's cheaper to build kind of wood construction yeah. with hardy plank yeah. exteriors and a, a wood yeah. truss yeah. because anyone can build it. Yeah. See, better off stick building than that stick building. Yeah, yeah, you may avoiding be the CMU to, to, to avoid masons. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But we're talking on do eleven. Hmm? Undo eleven. You could probably yeah. I mean, I yeah. think we could value engineer everything in there to yeah. get it under eleven. And then again, these are estimates, so you go out to bid, there's chances that it could still be lower. Yeah. There's yeah. chances it could go higher. Right, but right. Yeah. Okay. And we're trying, especially in this, in this day and age, we're trying to be more conservative on the cost estimates. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, you have a thought on the snack check site. I mean, uh, how, how has it gone so far with the food trucks for... Uh, oh, awesome. Because, I mean, there is. I mean, we get the parking now. You could easily it do it. I know yeah. that... Um, well, I and mean, we didn't make any money off of it. Yeah. That wasn't our intention. Because right. last year we made six bucks doing what we did. <laughs> um, they came. They showed up. Uh, they had the best... They said it was the best day ever. Everybody was happy. The food was great. They paid for our ref's food. Mm -hmm. We usually treat our refs to, mm -hmm. to whatever they want. Yeah. They covered that, and everybody was happy. Because I see that, like, like Weymouth, when yeah. we have tournaments at Level yeah. Field, they usually have food trucks yeah. set food up there. Trucks. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, we could always have a table. I mean, I'm just thinking in terms of getting the cost closer to 10 if we need to. I don't know what the snack shack's going to cost, but if, if we're looking to figure out ways to cut some corners, mm -hmm. that's an option, too. Well, how much do you make on, a, on the... I actually, I need that question for my insurance. And I mean, maybe seven grand a year, so it's not. Well, and this would be, the yeah, it was yeah. like seven grand a year it, 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 for the small the amount. It was anywhere from five to nine. Yeah, so yeah. For, we'll call it seven or for the small or amount, we're open. We're a couple for thousand. A lot of work. And for a lot of work, and then also you got to keep in mind, you know, this might be a little more fragmented. Whereas baseball or softball nights, there's three games going usually, so you get all those games that going at the same time for multiple hours. Whereas soccer is, you know, a one hour game. So it's, you know, it's, it's, it's nothing to clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The truck falls in. Mm -hmm. and the full truck yeah, so I'm just thinking if it's just a straight bathroom, you know, a small bathroom, that's, that's an option yeah. too. We've also been using prefabricated restrooms that actually look like small buildings um, in Virginia and North Carolina. And, and it's actually, you, you build a foundation and plunk the toilet in when it comes to the site. So it would be, you know, you could get a two holer pretty easily. I kind of like actually the idea. respect. I mean, they look yeah. acceptable. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of just doing the food trucks and just having um, having uh, restrooms. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. I'm, getting, I'm well. always worried about staffing is going to be a huge. Yep, yeah, because it's always volunteers. Be and now, now for us, I'm thinking because I'm thinking the same way. For us, for our games, that means we need volunteers at the ball fields and we need volunteers at there for games and yeah, it's hard enough just to get them for a year now. I mean, yeah, if you've got a steady food truck, unlike, you know, this year we only have three home games so we're using three different people, only using them each once, but in a situation like this, if you get a steady a steady job for somebody, you know, eventually they can probably work in some type of deal. Or yeah, I agree. A little bit of a kickback. Some type of cut. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you have any permitting yeah. process in town? At parks or schools for food trucks. <laughs> no. No. Just left the looking room. into the camera. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just <laughs> well, I tell them if I do this in the field, that means drive away. The trucks are coming. Go. Yeah. Just <laughs> um, wondering, because that's that's a revenue generator too. If you right. You have a process with a fee for the food trucks to come, right. and then they don't fight over who's who's going to come to the games. 
if it gets popular. Yep. <laughs> All right, so we have like 20 minutes left. Okay. So I guess is the consensus to move forward with the cover page? That would be my bathroom. vote if we were to switch. Agreed. So it's the option yes. one revised. Add yep. in the bathrooms. Add in the bathrooms. bathrooms. Yep. And we feel like we have enough storage there for what we need. The two, the the two buildings. Mm -hmm. Do we, we, I mean, the on the easterly field, we have covered storage. Do we want to actually move that to kind of oh. where we're, sh I mean, maybe that's a restroom and a storage building? Well, that, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That one could get moved just, to next just to the to pickleball this. courts. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and then, it's then that right way we're and still only talking about and restroom building. two buildings. Right. And it's close enough to that. We could slide the playground over a little bit. It's close right. enough to that field that you can get equipment out to it. And we can always, during the, you know, high mate and high Sports seasons throw some porta potties along with it, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, along the parking lot too. So, so what do you think for the restroom? Would it be a three, three women, two men, or is it a one and one? Or I, I think it's a go one and one. Definitely not yeah. one and one. Yeah, oh, you wouldn't go one and one. One bathroom for one. One one woman, one, one man, man, along with some porta potties as bathrooms well. Bathrooms, no, I'm I thought you meant like, like a stall. single. It would yeah. be a single. You either either three women stalls and two mm -hmm. men, I would, I would or would you want a single that. use and a single use? No. Single I mean, use. it's two fields. It's not like there's a million games going on. But you guys do more than one. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, the line at the women's bathroom with one is one is a long line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we do a three and two. I mean that's pretty, pretty small. Yeah. I think three, three and two with a single use because typically you'll have the gender neutral as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. two men's and then there'd be one, one kind family. of single use family. Yeah. Yeah. And so if we move it over to where the current courts are, that'll reserve space in the future. Mm -hmm. If we ever need to add more storage, we know we can put. You can it always add a building yep. up. Yeah. 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 So Although, quite frankly. How much is that covered? What's that? One twenty-five. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah, they mm. estimated that. Sense to just keep it and add down here, and you're never gonna, never gonna have enough it, storage. Yeah, you're never gonna have enough storage. Okay, so keep it and do a, do a storage and restroom building here. I wonder if you want it actually. Well, no, well, we're saying we slide there. these courts down and put, and that gets the building like right. centralized. So I'm saying Which yeah, might, might be, be good for cameras and a few other things. To I'm saying put it, like slide the courts down mm -hmm. and then put the building right in the center. Oh really? So then yeah, well then you can access it from both fields, playground, courts. Um, but that means if you're playing on the court, the building's going to block a view to the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that? I, I mean, personally, I would put with the current basketball court. I put the storage restroom there. And oh, right next to the basketball court. Or, or, or flip them. Put the basketball with the tip pickleballs. Put the pickleball in the back, and then put that over. Put the storage. I don't know. I, I was just going to put it in the back, yeah. and then put push everything forward. It doesn't matter to me which order you go. What if you just slip, I mean, shift? What if you shift it? I get what you're pressure. saying on view. Like if you're over here, and you you know. I mean, part, yeah. see. part part of that's my thought process when we started this is I picture since this is an yeah, intergenerational field, mm -hmm. parents and grandparents playing pickleball, wanting to watch their child do warm ups, and then when the warm ups finish, they say, okay, let's go watch the game or whatever. But oh, so I you get out that line of sight yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I see what you're so yeah, I don't know. My be. personal opinion is I would I would put the basketball. Oh, I'm sorry. I would put the restrooms in the back push the courts up a little bit closer yeah. mm -hmm. and then keep the covered storage area because I think you're always going to need it. How much do things like this matter right now? I mean, moving things around. I'm assuming at this point it doesn't really matter. At this matter. point, no. We, I, that we want a graphic and a price and, yep. and we can yeah. shift it around. But, I mean, the other, yeah. I mean, I think it's, yeah. we'll, we'll probably want to generate the plan for the three buildings just so that we can get a kind of more yeah. accurate price. Right. So next, based on our conversation, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to steal this, but I'm trying to keep it moving yep. from a time perspective, um, is that we would not do anything with the softball fields at the Howard based on a conversation that there's a potential X amount of years down the road for a school yep. 
for yeah. Valhauer to be expanded. That's so a lot speak. of money to spend for one, for, yeah. one for the gain of one field. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't really want to do a whole lot of anything in Howard right now until we know what the school situation is going to look like. So, so that basketball leaves. court and some pickleball courts is one thing. Right. It's not a lot of money, yeah. but I wouldn't do it. leaves the infield thing. with a price. So it leaves the high school pieces. And, and then you saw, I cool. sent you an email to price out turf on the on the um, outfield as well. Oh, oh, oh I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can, yeah, we can do that as one of the a la carte okay. items. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a full turf. Full turf. Just, just so we'll look at turf and then a full turf. Okay. Yeah. And then the tennis court and the basketball court. Yeah, at the high school as well. Yeah. When you That's price it out, can you overlay a soccer field in the outfield for that too? Like yeah. a it looks like it right field. now, from what I, if I'm looking at it right, it looks like they get the lines for the soccer field. Yeah, it right is, there. and I think it was at a bare minimum. Okay. And that's what I just want to see right here. It's so like the, the oh, yeah. it gets faint, but you can see the lines. So it's right here. And we're keeping basketball and tennis yeah. at high school. Yeah. 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 Definitely, yes. Okay. Yeah, James, do we need lights back there? Back. Um, for the tennis basketball back, do you do any of the do any of your matches extend until the evening hours? Not really. I mean usually we, we finish up adding a court will definitely help that speed process along. too. It'll totally speed it along. Do we have lights back there now? We don't. We don't? No. No. I don't, no, yeah, I don't no. think of them back there. Just just uh light. yeah, ambient light. Yeah. That's fine. Right. I wouldn't put it in there. If you let that up, there'll be kids on the skateboard still. Yeah, we'll <laughs> yeah. Okay, so okay and we'll provide, and then we'll we'll do a a cost estimate on that site, on that on that option one revised mm -hmm. at yeah. the high school. The way. And then the Howard the way we just um, pickleball courts still. Well, I, mean, I would, I would, I don't, like I said before, I don't think we need six. I mean, four is probably sufficient. Yeah, we'll I'd say four as close as possible to the senior center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And, then, and then do you keep the basketball court at Howard as well, or you're building one in the high school? I'd say no. I'd say kill it. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it just because it's so close to the potential yeah. footprint of a right. okay. addition. So, so we've got one basketball at the high school, one basketball at the Intergenerational. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think that's And then good. four and four for the pickleball. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. With the four close to the senior center. Because yeah. yeah. that'll also prevent any future issues if the Howard expands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Sure. And then and then we'll redo this view accordingly. Great. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. That should be a barn down. That should just have yeah. the barn <laughs> down. Yeah. All, for it. all for under five mil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when tomorrow's fine. <laughs> <Have this idea. laughs> we can Next week we can do six o'clock <laughs> meeting, right? Tomorrow. Yeah, That's right. fine. Yeah. Um, so what is when is your selectman meeting from a next week? yeah, next meeting is October fifth. Okay. And, and then October nineteenth. So, yeah. would it make sense? Do we want to meet in a week? Solidify everything. Now we yeah. have to have one more meeting, or well, meeting before the selectman meeting, or whatever. But we, um, yeah, we could come then. Um, so basically, meet the twenty eighth and the fifth. Meet the yeah. fifth before the select meeting. If we need to, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm available the 28th up until eight, I, my town meeting is at eight. My board, but I'm good till then. September 28th. Yeah, yeah. week from today. So you I put those classes. <laughs> yes, you do. You got two more <laughs> meetings to go to. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do Are you guys available on the 28th? Mm. I, I can come the 28th. I, I can't come the 5th, unfortunately, but um, you could cover it. Yeah. 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 If, if we met at 6, would Jan be more likely to make I it? I think so. I was just texting with her now. Oh, there she is. Sorry. Hi. Okay, guys, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, we are kind of done. We yeah. can certainly <laughs> <throw it in. laughs> But is, if, could you meet 6 o'clock next Wednesday? Is the, 
the immediate question. Is that? So next Wednesday, a week from today. 28th. 28th. 28th is fine, yeah. Is 6 o'clock late enough for you? Yeah, yeah. I saw I was in Framingham. You know how that is. <laughs> we could do virtual for that one if it's more convenient. No, that's for fine. I can be here at 6. Yeah, 6 is fine for me. Does it? Yeah. 28? Yeah. I'm going to have to see. I, I just... Uh, I got to make sure I, I do a volleyball, so I just got to make sure it's covered. Um, I struggled kind of getting here today, um, so I can let you know, but I can touch base. So, what did I miss tonight with the Reader's Digest version? Um, yeah, so we landed on going with this cover page without the. Um, building for the basketball courts, but leaving that space somewhat available by building a pickleball court and an outdoor basketball court. So we're not going to do a building? At this point, no. Yeah. But leave that space kind of available. And what is that do within cost? five years, it would be possible. Yeah. What does that do to the cost? So the cost would go from about 17 to 10. 10, 5 million. Thank you. All right. Anything else, anyone? Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. so. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Like All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you